Hello everyone and welcome. In this video you will be learning how you can change the colors of Firefox or LibreWolf to match the theme that is going to be used by your wallpaper using PyWallFox. Now, to get started, first you open this link, which is github.com forward slash freewalkum forward slash PyWallFox. Once you're here, you just scroll down to installation and we're supposed to install the native messaging application. The way we do this is like so by installing Python Pywall Fox if you're on Arch. Now, if you're on other Linux distros or on Mac or Windows, which I hope you're not, right? <laughs> All you do is just install it using pip. If the repo package doesn't work for you, then you can install it using pip and that should get the job done. Now, if you want to use this along with LibreWolf, what you're going to do is install. Pywall Fox this way. So if we look for it in the repos, we find Python, Pywall Fox, LibreWolf. We're going to install this and it will give you support for both Firefox and LibreWolf, so you might as well install that one. Great. Then we run Pywall Fox install in your terminal. So once you install that, what's it called? Pywall Fox, LibreWolf, something like that, right? Yes, Python, PyWallFox, LibreWolf. So install this and you should get PyWallFox as a command. So you run PyWallFox install and that should finish. Once it does, you're supposed to get the PyWallFox add on for Firefox or Thunderbird. So this apply application of colors to both Firefox and Thunderbird is handled by PyWallFox. So you, if you use Thunderbird as your email client, you can let PyWallFox theme that for you. Right, so we need to get the add-on. What are we gonna do? Just right click, open link, click on add to Firefox, continue, and add. Once you do that, you will get the extension like so, over here. So you can just click on this, and you should see something like this. Right. Okay, now, there might be some issues. It's either, if we scroll down here, we're not going to be able to fix any issues related to native messaging hosts, for example. It's fixable, but it just takes a bit of time. The reason for that is Sometimes it can be a bit buggy. And so you're just going to have to, let's say, close your browser and reopen it. And then go to extensions, click on Pywall Fox, and click on Fetch Pywall Colors. Once you do so, it's going to theme the browser according to the colors chosen by Pywall. So there's that. Okay. Great. We have done it using Pywall. But what if you want to use Material U colors? What then? In that case, you would go to Matthew Jen's GitHub. So it's github.com forward slash INIOX Matthew Jen themes. Look for the Pywall Fox template. So click on templates. Scroll down, find Pywall Fox colors. Copy that and paste it in. To config Matthew Gen templates firewall fox colors.json. I already have the file and I've pasted the same thing in. Once you do that, you're supposed to add in a hook for it inside the config file. So config Matthew Gen tem or rather config dot Okay, right over here. We have input path as the template file that we just copied and pasted into, and the output path as the colors.json. And the post hook is going to be PyWallFox update. Now, there is a reason why we're doing this, right? So, after MattyGen finishes generating colors, you can ask it to run a command in order to update any applications that you might be using. So, let's say I change my wallpaper to something that had more of a red shade and a red tint to it so that would automatically change 
the colors of my browser to have that red tint too by running PyWallFox update. Instead of me having to close the browser and reopen it, you can just let MatthewGen do the work for you. Now, if you're using PyWall instead, what you can do is create a script. So if you have a theme switcher script, which if you don't already, you can check out a previous video. I've made one on that detailing exactly how you can make one, right? So in that theme switcher script, which mine is in .local bin, I call it wall set backend. Okay, so in this theme switcher script, you can update PyWallFox. So you can add in a command that updates PyWallFox uh, somewhere here. Now, the reason why I've put it in the middle here is because you have to experiment with this yourself. You don't exactly know when the perfect time to update PyWallFox is going to be. And you'd ideally want to experiment with it and see when exactly the right time is. Because otherwise, what happens is, let's say I put this right after here. Yeah, let's say I copy this and I paste it after wall. So what's going to happen is it will update PyWallFox colors after PyWall itself. And let's say I want to use PyWall and MatthewGen together. So I want to use PyWall to theme NeoVim, for example, and MatthewGen to theme the rest of my system to get material U colors for the rest of my system. Now, if I don't do it right, what happens is the material U colors don't get applied to my browser and instead I get PyWall colors. That is not what I want. Not good. So what you need to do is figure out where exactly the best place to put this in your script is going to be. Now, of course, if you like material U colors even more, you can just skip the hassle. So just get rid of this and use MatthewGen's post hook to set this up. Great. And that should be it. Oh, also, I have left my dot files in the description, which contain the install script for installing them, which is tested on Arch. And it also has this, the theme switcher file. Basically, it has my entire setup except this bar, which I will probably upload sooner than later. So go and download it from there. It will definitely help you out. And hey, if my free videos have given you as much value as they have, just think about how much value I provide in my paid stuff. Spoiler alert, I'd say a lot. So don't wait, right? Don't be a wimp. Invest in yourself and click the first link in the description. If you're not going to invest in yourself and your knowledge, then what else are you going to invest your money in? So just click the first link in the description, check out the Hyper Accelerator program, and I will see you there. Trust me, it's going to be worth your money. And besides, there is absolutely no risk. There is no risk. So if you don't enjoy the program, if you don't find value from it, I will give you all of your money back. So just check it out. Click the first link in the description. Don't be a wimp. Like, share, subscribe. I will see you next time. Peace.